Hello everybody, welcome to Ian's Brick. So as you can see, I'm in a nice and quiet uh, West Quay shopping centre in Southampton. It's Saturday the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Uh, nobody's fooled me yet though. Um, and I've come into the Lego, into the West Quay centre to go to the Lego store because there's a load of new sets releasing today on April the 1st. I just really want to have a look at those sets. There's a couple of uh, gift with purchase as well, which I probably will get. Um, and yeah, just have a look and see what they've got. So it's a little bit early, so I'm gonna have a one wander down to the Lego store. They probably won't be open just yet, uh, but it shouldn't be too long. So it looks like I'm not the only one with the same idea. There's quite a big queue outside the Lego store already. So the first new set I spotted on the shelves was this Land Rover Classic Defender 90, part of the Icons range. This was brand new in today, set 10317, that looks fantastic. Temple of the Golden Idol, this is an Indiana Jones set, none of those on the top shelf. They had some of the uh, Escape of the Lost Tomb Indiana Jones sets, they were new today. Uh, they had them on display as well, both of those sets look really, really good. I think the bottom one is certainly the better of the two. Um, really, really good. Uh, they had the um, uh, the fighter plane chase sets as well. A few of those had gone, and they had one of the uh, Golden Idol sets at the bottom. So I think they had some more in the back as well. This is new, the new Guardian ship from Marvel. Um, not sure about this one. It looks okay, but ninety pounds for that. It's not particularly huge. Uh, maybe it'll be popular. Unusual ship that one. I'm fence. I'm on the fence with that one. Uh, and they had some of the Star Lord helmets, sixty nine ninety nine. Price of those are starting to go up now, but uh, really nice set. I think that could do quite well uh, for Lego investment, but uh, won't be retiring anytime soon. Uh, big gap on the shelf for the Up House from Disney. These were flying off the shelves. They really were. They did have some more in the back though, and they had the uh, Disney Celebration train. This was new out today as well. This is four plus set, but quite a nice little set. Uh, and they had both the Up House and the Disney Celebration train uh, built and on display and they both look really really good I do especially like the up house I say that was incredibly popular they had some of these sets as well. I think these came out last month or the month before. Creative uh, classic sets. Uh, they had them in sort of these pastel colours and neon colours, which are different and interesting. And they had the pastel one on display. I actually really, really like uh, the look of this. Uh, I, I maybe did, won't get one, but uh, just, just, just different. They had the Easter basket, uh, gifts with purchase over £65 today. This is what it looks like built. That's a really nice little set, that. Uh, that's the, one of the gifts with purchase. Had some new brick heads as well. They had uh, Minecraft. Zombie, they had the uh, Alex figure as well. These are all 9 99 and the Llama, which is the number 200 uh, of the Brickhead series. Uh, a few Star Wars sets on the shelves. They had the amb Ambush on Ferrex, uh, plenty of those on the shelves. Uh, and they had some of the Republic fighter tanks as well. They're £40. Might get myself one of these today. They also had uh, bought some more up houses out later, so I just thought I'd have a quick look at the box. Um, managed to get hold of one to have a quick look at. Look at the back of the box as well. It's a really nice set. I have to say, it's one of my favourite Disney films. I bought this on DVD quite a while ago. A Spiral! Yeah, one of my favourite uh, uh, Disney films of all time, it really is. They had this on display as well, which was the um, Ferrari Daytona. This is a Technic set. I've seen this built before, but you just can't get over the size of this thing. I mean, I know it's expensive, but look at the size of it compared to those Speed Champion sets. It really is uh, a monster. And this is another one of the gifts with purchase they're doing. House of the World number two. Spent £220 for that one. They had some of the Lunar Chinese New Year sets on display as well. I might get myself one of those today. And they also also had the um, um, Rivendell, the, the Lord of the Rings set that was all built. Nobody was really looking at that today, but just such a fantastic set. It really is amazing. I think I might have to treat myself to one of these at some stage. 15 minifigures with this set. Had them all listed on there, which looks pretty fantastic. And I just also had a quick look at the side and the back of the building as well. Really detailed interior, which is nice. Um, just look, look at that. It really is a fantastic build. I love all those tile pieces on the floor. They're all printed apparently. They look really, really good. They do look fantastic. Uh, and again, some more detail over there uh, by the sort of river in the bridge. Looks absolutely amazing. Right, I'm all done in the Lego store. It did calm down a bit after the first initial rush, but it was still fairly busy. So I've got a nice big bag of Lego. So uh, let me take you back to the car and I'll show you everything that I bought today. 
here we are back at the car then so let me show you what I've got so we've got a few things in here I did spend over the 220 pound so as well as this uh, rather nice VIP bag this is the latest one that they're doing uh, which is a spring fun VIP add-on pack all sorts of weird and wonderful things in there which look pretty good uh, I spent over 45 pound I think for that uh, and I also got the Easter Bunny which is a nice set 40587 spend over 65 pounds to get that one um, but I also got the houses of the world I did toy with the idea of getting this because it's quite a small set 220 pounds spend on this which is really high but they're a nice set and I've got the first one of these I've only got one of the first one this is the second one so I thought it was worth getting one of those so what did I spend what did I spend 220 pounds on Let's just get rid of the receipt. So, uh, we got this first of all, which is the Chinese New Year set. Of course, it's the wrong way around. There we go. This is the Lunar New Year Parade set. This was a release at the start of the year. I haven't got one of these yet. Uh, this is the set which comes with the purple um, helmet and uh, oxygen tanks, uh, which, of course, is so sought after. So, that's a nice set. That's £90. I also got Star Wars, I got one of these, 75342, the Republic fighter tank, uh, these are £40 in the UK, um, so I like these, I think these will do well for Lego investing, this is also like the Chinese set, this is retiring at the end of the year, allegedly. I also got myself yet another Dark Trooper helmet, £60 in the UK, I've got a few of these now but I keep getting them as I go into the Lego store, 75343. Another one of those. And the final thing, I got myself a Harry Potter Professor's um, Brickhead set 40560. I think that is the front. There we go. Uh, a nice set. This £40 in the UK. And again, this is allegedly retiring at the end of the year. So quite a few nice sets in there. All retiring at the end of the year for the larger ones. I say I wasn't tempted really by any of the new sets uh, today, even though some of them are really, really nice. But for Lego investing, you need to try and pick these sets which are retiring at the end of the year. That's everything done. So one thing I will say about the Lego store, it was very, very busy. As you saw at the start, there was quite a long queue there. Um, it seemed to be that the uh, Disney Up House was the one thing that people were really going for. Um, they were literally, I wouldn't say fighting on the shelves, but I'd, there was one woman who was a little bit unhappy because her, her kid, had, who was quite young, was only about three or four years old, had been knocked apparently by a woman in her rush to get uh, the, uh, the Up House. They'd sort of put them all on quite a low shelf. Uh, the Indiana Jones sets were doing really, really well as well uh, and as I say they were very very busy Saturday morning new new sets released loads of people getting all the new sets which of course is really good to see and of course me being me I wasn't going any for any of the new sets I was going for the sets they'll be retiring I got enough to get that uh, really nice gift with purchase the houses of the world and the other two as well so nice to get three gifts with purchase that doesn't happen very often at Lego uh, but yeah a bit of a high spend for that um, uh, 220 pound in the UK anyway that's me done and dusted uh, thank you very much for watching this I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this haul. Uh, I certainly enjoy going into the Lego stores on new release dates. It's really nice to see all those brand new sets in their new boxes. There weren't many of them uh, sort of built and displayed. There was a few of them, uh, but yeah, there was uh, quite a few that hadn't been uh, built and displayed. Uh, but yeah, some really, really nice sets in there. So thank you very much for watching this video. Until the next time, we'll see you then. Take care and bye for now.